Let's begin this topic by taking a look at the integrating functions and processes. The software is designed to support all business processes in real time, including distribution, sales and purchasing, manufacturing, inventory, finance, customer relationship management, Sage X3 people for payroll and HR, along with warehousing. It has a true global functionality, allowing for multiple companies, sites, and legislations. It has the ability to adapt to custom business processes by providing development tools, workflows, business intelligence, and web services. The software integrates all information and business processes within a single proprietary platform called Safe X3, built for development. By maintaining a single database, it simplifies the way you manage your business and allows users to gain an extensive view of their activity, no matter where the data is created. Before using the software, it is important to understand the architecture and relationship between the various servers. The software consists of these various server elements. The database server is where the actual database is installed. A single database is created on the database server. All folders are created in the same database. The application server requests information from the database server. A runtime listener accepts connection requests from the web client. The web server, report server, connection server components can be installed on the application server, or they may be installed on separate systems as well. The application server is also where your applications and configuration console reside. The web server can be separate or part of the application server. This is where the web presentation component is installed. These components are necessary to allow web clients to connect as well as mobile devices. The web client uses a URL address. This is where the user enters transactions that update to the application server and the database server. Beginning with product update 9, web services are now carried out on the Sage X3 web server. The web server in the classic architecture is used only for VT terminal connections. Several application servers can be connected to Sage X3 web server. Now that you have viewed the architecture, let's take a look at the folders. When a folder is created, it creates a directory on the application server and the tables and users are on the database server with the same name. An individual folder contains rules, parameters, dictionaries, modifications for development, along with data. Each folder that is created inherits information from the X3 reference folder, which contains all the standard defaults from the software, such as screens, workflows, and general parameters. You can also copy information from one folder to another folder. And it is important to understand that a single folder can contain data for multiple companies and information can be shared between companies in the same folder. A solution is an instance of the software that defines the connections between the various servers and the location where various components are installed. Typically, you would have an X3 reference folder, which is where the information is copied from when you create a new folder. You would also have a test folder. A test folder is used to practice entering transactions and data. This contains sample data to use when demoing or practicing data entry. The pilot folder is used as the initial setup of your live folder. You can make customizations to such elements as screens in the pilot folder and then apply them to the live folder. This ensures they work correctly before affecting users or interrupting data entry. And finally, you have the live folder, which contains your actual live company data. This is where day-to-day -day transactions are entered. Again, it is important to remember the folder creation and inheritance principles. When you create a folder, it creates directories on the application server, as well as table and users in the database folder, and it inherits information from the reference folder. 
Let's now also take a look at the architecture of a Sage X3 Cloud installation. You can access Sage X3 Cloud from any mobile device or desktop using your Sage ID, no matter where you are. If you have an internet connection, you can sign into your cloud instance at www.sagex3.com or by entering the URL directly in your favorite web browser. The cloud gateway allows you to select your instance and then enter your Sage ID and password. This then allows access to the Amazon Cloud and the hosted application that resides within that cloud instance. Sage X3 Cloud is a multi-tenant environment. Each tenant has their own virtual machines that contain the application and print servers as well as their own database. In this topic, you have learned about the architecture and how it facilitates the functions and processes in real time about the purpose and relationship between various servers, about folders and inheriting information from one folder to another, and about solutions and how they define the connections between the various servers.